Hi and welcome to the Geek Legion of Doom. This is a B-Movie review and today I'm going to be talking about The Last Lovecraft. So, this film is a kind of comedy horror film about uh, a, a descendant of H.P. Lovecraft and it's kind of played, it, it is kind of played for laughs. So this, this film has got its tongue firmly in cheek. Um, not a particularly gory you know splatter fest but there are some that you know it would fall under sort of the banner of a, a a horror comedy i suppose um the story really is a, a an artifact has been found and it's it basically when you put it together with another another piece of the artifact it essentially gives you the uh the key to unlock cthulhu from his sort of watery tomb um and basically what the, the idea is is that hp lovecraft was his stories were based in fact and Cthulhu is real and uh, the only the only sort of person who really has any chance of of defending this 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 artifact is one of his sort of descendants but this guy is kind of like a, a bit of a geek who works in like a dead-end job and him and his kind of like nerdy mates and things like that so one of the sort of like the the, the high council or whatever um, basically give this this sort of artifact to this guy and they're sort of pursued by kind of like fish monster people and then it's basically a, a kind of um almost like a chase movie where they're sort of trying to get th this th this artifact really away from these um these kind of like you know cthulhu's minions and things like that doesn't really have a you know a, a massive um plot really they, they kind of just go to a couple of locations to try and sort of garner help and you end up sort of you end up getting a, a you know a couple of other sort of crazy characters sort of along the way kind of trying to help them and things like that um so you know uh, it's it's a difficult film because i mean i always try and read a couple of reviews online before i before i look think about give it my own thoughts and this this genuinely got pretty high high marks from the people that that, that sort of saw it but Personally, I didn't think it was all that fantastic. I mean, it, like I always say with B movies, um, you you kind of have to sort of give them a certain amount of of leeway in regards to uh, the budget and things like that, because obviously you're not going to get a you know it's a well produced film as you are on the sort of the higher end sort of typical Hollywood films. Um, but this one looked reasonably okay. I mean, I thought that the, the monster effects were quite good. Some of the acting is 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 pretty hammy. Um, now I, I, got, I get the impression some of that is done on purpose, but some of it I don't think is meant to, and it, it kind of like the I'll give you an example. The, the, the in the beginning, you, there's kind of like a professor who is, is the one that gives this artifact to this um, to the hero, I guess. And to me, to me, he's he, you know he's meant to be a bit more serious, but he just he just comes across like he's you know a proper hammy actor. Um, so it's also pretty geeky so this is this is going to be a film where if you're interested in in cthulhu or kind of maybe geek culture i think you will enjoy it more than someone who just wants to watch a horror film or a horror comedy that sort of thing uh because there's 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 quite a lot of references and this is obviously made by people who have got a lot of passion about the the product uh, or the or the, or the subject matter um but was it a good film Mm, I don't think it was a great film. I, th I thought it was a bit plodding, to be honest with you. Um, the acting I thought was was fantastic, and not a lot actually happens. They kind of they kind of go on a run, but it's a very very short. It's a very short run. They kind of really go to kind of uh, only a couple of locations, and, it's, and then kind of just stand stand there really. Um, so, but it again, the special effects were reasonable. The humour I thought was a little bit homophobic, I have to say, um, but there was quite a lot of like you know, gay jokes in it, and you know, you can some of it. Sometimes it's funny, but it, it almost went so far as, as I say, to be a little bit homophobic. I thought, um, and you know, again, it's not going to be taken too seriously. This film, but this film, I'm going to have to say, if you're a, if you're a you know a Lovecraft fan. You're probably going to like it more than just someone who just doesn't really know what that is. 
so I'd have to say if you're a Lovecraft fan, I'd give this a 6 out of 10. If you're not, maybe a 4 out of 10. So I'm going to average that. My review, I'm going to have to give it a 5 out of 10. So for me, it's a pretty average film. It's certainly not terrible. I've seen worse. The, the characters are quite likeable. Um, but it certainly didn't, you know, I'd pretty much start forgetting about this film, uh, you know, minutes after I'd sort of finished watching it. But it, it was okay. I, you know, I didn't feel like it was a waste of time, ultimately. So 5 out of 10 for me. Have you seen it? What do you think of it? Leave me a comment and I look forward to seeing you next time. See you later.